today is day 20 for my Bon Maman advent calendar. Let's see what's behind door number 20. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. The door says jar of joy and we have quince spread. I've definitely never had this before. I actually have a quince tree in my yard. I believe it's a Japanese quince tree. I've never seen any kind of fruit on it and it's been in my yard since I bought the house. So it's been quite a while. So it's gonna be really interesting to taste this. I'm not really getting any flavor. Like I'm getting sweet. That's it. Imagine like a sweet fruit spread, but no real flavor to the fruit. Yeah, I can't even think of what to compare this to because I'm not really getting any flavor other than just sweet. Yeah, this is really strange. I mean, it's good, but it really just tastes like sugar. So the ingredients are sugar, quinces, brown cane sugar, concentrated lemon juice, and pectin. So this is definitely mostly sugar with sugar being the first ingredient and also the third ingredient. Let's see if we can make a pinwheel cookie with today's fruit spread. So I have some pie dough, which I've rolled out and I want to cut it into a square. I don't have a square cookie cutter. It's not a perfect square, but it's close enough. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cut slits on the corners, like halfway. There we go. Then what I want to do is I want to take one corner and then fold it over to the middle and press it down in the middle and this is going to shape our pinwheel pressing the middle down this is the little baking sheet that comes with the dash mini toaster oven I just want to make sure that middle stays and now I'm going to take some of this quince fruit spread and put it in the middle of our pinwheel and we'll bake this. I'm also going to sprinkle some sugar on the pie dough. There's no sugar in this pie dough so we're making a cookie. We want it to be a little bit sweet and of course colored uh, decorating sugar could also be used. I put the cookie in the Dash Mini Toaster Oven and I want to make a foil tent for it because I think it will burn before it completely bakes. So I'm just gonna tent some foil over it to protect it. And let's close this and then let's set this for 15 minutes. I'll be back after 15 minutes. By then the cookie should have been nicely baked. Then all I need to do is brown it for a minute or two. It's been 15 minutes and this smells really good. I don't know what it's gonna look like. And there is the pinwheel. Do you see how the crust is like puffing up really nicely? It is a little bit browned, more so in the back corner. I'm gonna try to flip this around just a little bit. Hold on. It's hot, so I'm trying not to touch it. I'm putting it back in and I'm not putting the cover on it and I'm just gonna put it in for like a minute or two just to get a little bit more browning on top. It probably doesn't even need it, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I'm thinking this is a bad idea because look what's going on here. So the filling that had looked so nice has started to kind of bubble and melt and spread out. So. I'm gonna take it out and it looks more brown than it was, so I think that's good enough. It was only like a minute. It's been about 10 or 15 minutes now and this cookie has had a chance to cool. So now I'm gonna taste it, it looks so good. That is so good. 
I love how delicate this pie dough is and it just has a hint of sweetness from the sugar on top and I got a little bit of the quince fruit spread. It's really yummy. This is so good. It came out like perfect. I have to say that. And the quince jam works really well because it's kind of like this sweet but nondescript filling for it. It's really nice. So here are my dough scraps from making that pinwheel. And I'm thinking like, why not make like mini rugolas? So I'm gonna take some of the quince fruit spread. I'm gonna spread it thinly on this dough. I don't know how it's gonna come out because usually I just make these with like sugar and some cinnamon. I haven't tried it with like a fruit spread before. Will it even work? Or maybe, should I just make like a sandwich cookie? Like put it on like that. So there's like filling in between. It's probably gonna bake out, but maybe not if I don't bake it uncovered. So this one is thicker. This one, let's put some, maybe we could roll this one up. I'll just spread some on here. This is just an experiment, just to see what can happen. Let's roll this one up. We could have a disaster mess on our hands. Okay, so this one's rolled up, a little roll. And then we have this one, and I'll just do this one. What if we just folded it on itself? Put a little jam in here, right? And then let's just fold it on itself. Like that. That looks good. So this one's kind of like a sandwich. This one is like a roll up and then this one is just folded over. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna bake these with the foil tent. And I'll set it for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Let's see what's going on in here. I have no idea. Okay, so this is what we have. The kind of sandwich cookie on the left looks good. And then there is some leakage from um, the fold over and the one that was rolled up, but not a whole lot. I took the mini cookies off of this tray to cool. You can see there's not much filling on this tray at all. These mini cookies have had a few minutes to cool and now I'm gonna try them. They're still warm, but they should be edible without like burning my tongue from hot filling. Let's try this little fold over. Really good, it's like a tiny bite of pie. And here's the one that I rolled. So that one was really nice. I like the one that was rolled, more so the one that was just folded over. And here we have like the sliver of a sandwich. It's really good, again, it's just like eating a mini piece of pie. If you make pie crust, don't waste any of it, use every little last bit of it. And so that's what I did with my Bonoman fruit spread today. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel to see what else we can make with the fruit spreads from this advent calendar. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, bye.